Hello everyone, uh, welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. Today I will show you role based authorization in ASP.NET Core. Okay, let's to create in, uh, in ASP.NET Core. Let's to start. Yeah. Create a new project. A role based authorization means you can authorize a particular action. A particular controller for authorized users uh, on the role based I mean to say you can divide your project in different different categories and different different roles like uh, administrator role user role uh, user manager role manager role and etc so uh, how to create a role in ASP.NET Core first of all I would like to share so in a constructor of your account controller when you register any you uh, when you okay let's start when you start your application in a faster time then you make a administrator so in a contra account controller section use role manager with the identity role class okay after that you can make uh, some initialize that also create a property use await keyword for your async task check role is already exist or not role exist asynchronously that is admin is exist already if it is not then create a role and also that role is added into the role manager you can say the user manager create a new user role by using identity role class that is admin check response using await keywords a role manager dot create async and the role name is admin and that admin is exists in the users variable okay response dot succeed after creating your role check the bool value is succeed then that role is added into the user manager okay role manager oops user manager dot add to role async and role app, uh, in which you can pass application user that is user variable uh, that is exist user and the role of the user that is admin so you can pass in the string after that you can successfully sign in into your account and that account is fully authorized by the admin and the full permission you can give to the admin After doing this, must to uh, migration of your project. So add migration. Mm, the name of the migration is first, and update database. This is the mandatory things. When you any changes in the uh, identity database then must to migrate your database first ok 
okay now run your project first time then admin is created if you want to uh, divide your project in different roles then you set a class when you project initialize then create multiple roles so uh, surender at the rate of gmail.com is a name or you can say the admin of the project okay now surender is the admin of the project and i will show you surender is uh, will access all controls as well as action so after doing this you can remove the role also you can remove the role and also clear that code from account controller a user manager add to role async is user by default okay now if you want to create some other role like admin user manager when your application start then you want to initialize your database with some roles then create a class and call that class from configure method of startup.cs file so create a role manager with identity role class in configure of startup.cs file identity role okay now create a static class with a static method and call from startup.cs file so initializer is a class name and initial is a method of method name of the class okay in which you can pass the uh, role manager class variable that is role manager okay now first to create a initializer class if you check your then generate nested class initializer but i want to create a class in outside uh, outside of uh, startup.cs file so add a class in the data section add a class initializer static also the member of the class is also a static and the same thing you can uh, do in this class because that class call first time when your project is logged static async task is initial then method of the class is initial in which you can pass a role manager with the identity role class a role manager is role manager now solve the problem of the directives is microsoft asp.net core.identity and the role uh, identity role class exists in the microsoft.asp.net core.identity.entity framework core okay now in this method you can check a role is exist or not if you uh, must to define your uh, async with the task 
then use await when you call your member of the class async with await keywords okay if not is with await keyword a role manager dot exist role check your exist role role exist asynchronously that is admin which is already available in the database so it's not created but further when you create role another role like manager uh, sub manager etc so previous things uh, uh, i have to done here that uh, users new identity role Okay, uh, role manager dot create async, and that is admin. Use await keywords for every executable code. Now copy this and paste. and change the role name is user also paste this code for manager role so we have three role in a role manager class that is admin user and manager run your project When you run your project, the default role exist is user. Manager is not created, and admin is created in previous. Uh, the project admin is Surinder, and the user is Amit. Listen carefully. The project admin is Surinder. and the user is amit so because the default registered make as a user let's check to uh, the role as well as user app settings the database name is aspnet authorized tutorial so first to connect with your database and add your database in the server explorer Server name is local db ms sql in visual studio 2017 okay aspnet authorized tutorial select it and test connection okay show users user admin and manager there are the three role in the database aspnet user roles now come to the com uh, home controller section and define your authorize keyword with the role authorization authorize roles 
an index method is access all uh, rows that is user manager and admin but the about section is authorized for the admin only so if all access then there is no need to authorize keyword is used in the index method if both access admin as well as user then must to separate the role that is user but manager is not accessing the contract okay if you like this video please share this also subscribe my channel if you want to learn more about esp.net core i will show you i provide a better video tutorial about esp.net core in further and please uh, you can check your authorize that is amit is a user but not access the about section it's denied if you log in in the admin panel then you must to uh, authorize for the about page as well as contact page oops for invalid attempts okay so please subscribe my channel and please uh, share this video thank you thank you very much